Hello and welcome, this is Mouseconner, and we're back with some more of the Beast and Exploration DLC for Battle Brothers. We just fought some undead, we're pretty successful with it. Uh, let me double check that we don't have any other work to do. I think we're pretty much good to go. There was no level ups, and I think we got our equipment more or less back to where it was. Uh, I'm going to strive to go into this town, sell off a lot of the goods that we have, and maybe get some food, because we are a little low on that. And then we need to come here and get our money. Okay, they do have terrified villagers, unfortunately. So the prices are unfortunately pretty terrible as a result. Let's go ahead and sell off these spears. So all this stuff. You should get a fair amount of cash here from all this stuff. I don't think we want to keep the Witch Hunter's hat around, even though it's actually a pretty good item. As far as protective gear without any fatigue penalties, this is, I think, the best that there is. Uh, it's almost as good as the... Uh, do they have an example here? Well, I'll show you later. Uh, but we'll sell... Sell that. We'll sell... That, 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 all the undead stuff. This. Yeah, we probably have too many of these at this stage, so we'll sell one of those as well. This is a tough call that we want to keep these around, because we already have one, maybe more. Uh, I guess we could sell, sort it at this stage and see exactly what we have. So, yeah, we have three of these things. I mean, it's good. But I don't know if we really need that many. So let's sell the one that's the most beat up and we'll keep this one around for now. We're also starting to get to a point where I, I probably should start selling off these because I don't think we need them that much. There's only a couple men that I think really benefit from it. So we'll sell one of those as well. Okay, looking good. So yeah, I need food, but food is expensive here. We might have to just forego it and just go straight into that town. I think we can last that long. We've got two days more provisions. All right, let's get going. While walking the streets of that place, you come upon a crowd standing around a hangman. He must have been of some notoriety. The folks are muscling one another to try and get a turn to cut a toe or finger off as a sort of hanging heirloom. An old man is quickly elbowed out of the mob. He turns to you, voice raspy, his bony fingers tented like sickly ribs. Ah, so sword, are you? Of course, I can smell your business, the purchases you have made. Say, would you do a bit of work for me? I need a number of that dead man's fingers and toes. It's for me work, you see. I'll give you 500 crowns in return for it. You ask why he needs that particular man's appendages. The crooning, a shoulder cowed man laughs, a heckle if there ever was one. Aye, good question. The man earned his walk to the hangin', uh, hangin's, hangman's noose with a penchant for violence and an unerring strength to see his desires through. The toes and fingers of a simpleton won't do. I need a man of uncinched cruelty, and the only one I see right now is swinging by that there rope. So what say ye? 500 crowns, remember? Well, that sounds, this sounds like I'm doing something that's like a deal with the devil, like black magic or something, right? I'm going to say not to get involved. Uh, we've already had some problems. I'd rather not have anyone get injured or cursed or whatever is going to happen here. We already have the name the cursed. I don't actually need any of my brothers to have curses on them. <laughs> and with all the undead happenings at the moment, I, I'd rather not. <laughs> We don't know if that guy's a necromancer or some some crazy stuff, right? All right there should be a fair amount of coin here. 3,860 crowns. A pale, smooth-skinned treasurer greets you in the halls of Baron Hank von Perrowinger's room. He carries a satchel of crowns, quickly handing it to you. There's your payment in there, as agreed upon. My liege is currently most busy with his scribes to better solve this horde undead problem. All right. 
Well, uh, we already have immediately another contract, but before we do that, we have supplies to get. Fortunately, food is not cheap here either, but I don't think we have much of a choice. I'm trying to think of, like, what is, like, the, the most nut... <laughs> The closest to what it would normally sell for, I guess the bread, wouldn't it be? Alright, we'll buy a couple loaves of that. I would prefer more food than that, but it's gonna have to do for the meantime. Unfortunately, Undead don't happen to usually have a lot of... Should I get rid of this goblin poison and the poisoned oil? I mean, I'm not really using this stuff. Part of me says I should keep it, though. Oh, that's right. Uh, the ring is now being sold for more than it's worth. Let's go ahead and sell that. Okay, anything else we'd want from this place? Oh yeah, so this is the thing I was talking about. So this is only 50. Uh, this is 40 and it's uh, got a fatigue thing. So that's why I'm saying the witch, the witch Hunter's Hat is actually not bad considering it doesn't have any fatigue and it gives you the same protection as this. Whether or not I'd want it, I don't know. I mean, we could keep hold of it for now. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have the armor so again we need better helmets i don't know if this is restocked at all it seems like the same gear that was here before better helmets in general better armor would be nice let's take a look at where we're at for our men so this guy could do it with an upgrade of three points uh probably has the brawny so it's going to be we could we could allow for more than that and also we have the kite shield, which we could remove, which would give us even more room. Because uh, a normal shield is 10, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 10. So we've got a leeway of 8, no, 9 points. And then again, we have the reduction to our fatigue from Brawny. So we have more than that still. So that guy has a, a, a lot of room to go. Uh, similar here. We have to make sure they have Brawny. This guy doesn't. So it's only going to be the 3 plus the 6, so 9 for that guy. But still, quite a bit of room. Here we have five points to play with, and again, the brawny skill. Only one point to play with, but we do get another four from there, so five and brawny. Probably I should focus on the armor. Anything I'd like to have better than the just the basic male shirt. That it's kind of to the point where we're beyond that. So it'd be nice to do that. So let's see if we can. Well, I can get a, a typical male shirt, which is a standard one. Do I have any upgrades to armor? Like, sitting around? I, I think I've used them all at this stage, yeah. Okay. And that's going to cost me 917. Uh, or I could go, like, heavier armor and, like, pass down some of the better pieces of armor as well. So, like, an example would be upgrade this guy's armor. Because he's already got a pretty good helmet, but his uh, body armor isn't matching his uh, head. So we could go for something heavier. We already know he has quite a few points that we could move around. Uh, I believe it was 9 that we have to play with. So, 9 plus 18 would be uh, 27, right? So... We could go up to this, uh, if we could afford it, of course. And then we also have 28, which... With the... F well, yeah. But that's really expensive. I don't think this would be a bad call, getting this, and then we, we pass down some of the other stuff, and it, it gets it kind of close to where the helmet is at this stage. I think it's one of the better buys, because the, the, the upgraded helmet costs more than that. So yeah, let's go with that. And then let's see what we can move around. So I think we've already kind of decided this guy should be the, the person to get that better armor. Uh, we will downgrade the shield, though, uh, correspondingly. So we don't really necessarily have a color scheme going here. Let's just go with something like that. Okie dokie. Uh, so... We're kind of at a point where we're in between being able to have a kite shield and uh, what have you. But hey, if we've got an upgrade to our spear, that's something we could do. Speaking of which, we should probably check on that too. Because uh, that's that's something we definitely need. So, weaponsmith. Looking for a fighting spear. I don't see one. Unless I'm just not 
paying attention. Yeah, there's not there's not a huge selection here, either at the armor or the weaponsmith. All right, so now that I've done that one upgrade, who would be the next guy in line? You already have better armor than this, so that's not going to be something we grab. As do you. You're a candidate, but you don't have a lot of room to upgrade. Forget, do you have? Yeah, you do. Uh, let's see if you can get away with it. Yeah, all right, good. So we're, we definitely upgraded this guy. That's nice. Um, so now we don't have any more of the basic male shirt. So that was like really what we were looking for. And then we, we should probably sell this then because we already have three fully. So this would be our next man to upgrade, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and get the javelins where they need to be. All right, looking good. So I'm generally happy with our armor situation. We really just need to upgrade like a little bit. I mean, we have room to upgrade. The, the question is, can we afford it? Like, for example, this guy would really benefit from the next tier better armor or a better shield. Can't quite do the better shield uh, unless it's a heater shield. Right? I'm not mad. Yeah. I mean, we can't quite do that. I could grab the heater shield. Not that expensive. Probably a good idea. Let's go ahead and grab this. Okay. So you're going to grab the heater shield here. All right, cool. So armor and uh, shield, I, th I think that's a good that's a good deal. Let's go ahead and start uh, selling a couple of these things. So we'll sell that. And we'll sell the shield as well. All right, I don't think we can afford much else at this stage, unless I'm, I'm like really missing something, because you already have pretty decent armor and it'd be probably too expensive to get you to the next level. Uh, you would be the next man to upgrade, but we have to downgrade the heater shield, which, uh, <laughs> Maybe I should have thought of before I did that. Hmm. Because, like, what I could do is I could grab, like, this, which would be an upgrade. So 140 versus... Oh. Okay. Okay. So 140 or 150? Yeah, 150. So that wouldn't be a huge upgrade. I think we're, we're fine. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at this contract then. Now, Eckbert von Parawinger. Parawinger's slouch posture and occasional groan tells a lot about how his day is going. He massages his temples before addressing you in a shaky voice. A greenskin's horde is terrorizing and plundering the region around Gronenberg. That's a long way from here. I spare no one or a thing. My men won't do it without obscene pay. You are the people's last hope to stop these brutes. If they're allowed to go where they please, we may never find them to, uh, find the time to rebuild. He slowly closes his eyes and sighs before continuing. They're greenskins. They leave tracks everywhere they go. Shouldn't be hard to find, right? Kill them all and revenge the good people of Grunenberg. This is not a difficult mission, but it's not going along with what we are here to do. Um... I'm going to say we need to be paid more, and then I'm going to say he didn't pay me a lot more. We, uh, I need to, ex I'm going to accept the offer, but I'm going to say I need time to think about it. Okay, so let's leave for a second. So Gronenberg is all the way over here. So I would have to travel all the way along this road, hook around and do that mission over there. And we, from we, I've done missions in Gronenberg area, uh, in the past. And those green skins could be over here, or they could be over here. And if they're over here, that's going to be really annoying. Because they have to track through these mountains. So this is one of those things where if you have, like, goblins in an area, it's really annoying to deal with them because of the train. So, honestly, I think we just ignore this mission. Unless it is offered to us in maybe uh, one of these other towns, like here. Then I'd think about it. 
We could probably go down here, though, to Erzberg. See if they have any missions with undead, because we do see, like, clearly undead camps here. Uh, and if they don't have a contract, we could just go hit one of these camps. It's still undecided, even though we just did a, a contract. It usually takes quite a bit to get things going. So I think we ignore this mission and just go down to the south. Ah, that was a weird pathing. We still are in a kind of bad situation as far as food goes. Uh, none of these towns, I think, will like me. Uh, not really. So we're, we're not going to see, like, gr the greatest prices. And if there's a lot of combat going on, we're also not going to have good prices because of that either. So it is kind of a danger going down here. But we're just going to have to make do. That was definitely a fight here at one point. Now, let's take a little quick look, though, at, at towns here. Has there been anything ruined here? No? No? Okay. Just want to see how the war is progressing. Okay, nothing seems we're in there. Nothing seems we're in there. Everything, we were just there, so that looks all good. Everything looks good there. Okay, same there. Same there. Just kind of trying to look to see how the war may be going on the map. Okay, looks like everything is fine. Yeah, okay, so the undead must have not accomplished a whole lot yet at this stage of the war, which is fine. It's still early. I mean, honestly, we don't want them to do anything. All right, let's see if this faction has any jobs for us. They do indeed. Uh, we do have adopted children here, which is going to be a problem. I am going to pick up food here. I am a little worried about our ammunition situation as well. All right, and there is not any, like, shops in here. There's a tavern, but... Okay. Well, let's let's go ahead and pick up some of these grains. I don't like paying this kind of money for something that should only cost 50, but... Again, we need to keep going with that food, so... All right, let's, uh... I just want to take a real quick look at where we are on the map. So this faction doesn't... The main outlying one would be uh, Wickstad. So, taking a contract here in Erzberg isn't, I don't think, going to be too much of a problem, because we're we're pretty much in the middle. It'd be a little bit of a problem to get to Wickstad, but I think I may just go down to uh, Rottenhaven and just take a boat over there, if we don't want to walk all that distance. So, yeah, I think we, we see what this mission is. If it's another, like, greenskin thing, I'm, I'm not going to be too keen on it, but... Staring out his window, Count Deidhelm von Grimund ask a simple question. Do you know what a greenskin does? <sighs> okay, that's another greenskin mission. When it gets its hands on an infant, you turn your head, a guard in the corner shrugs. You address the uh, question, yes? The noble man nods to himself and returns to his desk, taking a belabored seat there. There is a horde of them terrorizing Earlstad. Okay, so that shouldn't be too far away. I need you to find them and slay them all. I, I can't, they can't. Well, just kill them, all right? All right, let's see what they're gonna pay me. 1840. Let's say we need to be paid more. He says, okay. Um, I'm going to say I need some time to think about it because I just want to see where we are on the map. So Earlstad is right over there. So that's actually not bad. We could do that mission and then hit the undead on the way up. So I think that we definitely want to take that one. So, yeah. I mean, we might be injured after that fight, but... All right, I'll just get moving. Because I don't want to have to fight the green... Well, you know, again, fighting greenskins at night. Oh, we have another undead encounter here. Let's see what we've got. Okay, mini armored uh, zombies and some... Oh, okay, so Negros Avants. We have not fought these yet. What do we want to do here? Uh, it's not quite nighttime yet, so I think the archers would probably be fine. Uh... I think I remember how Necrosavants work, and if I remember correctly, they do a lot of teleporting around. So there may be a reason to remove the archers from that standpoint. But if I remember correctly, we've taken the abilities to break free if we need to. So it might be okay, but we're getting close to that time to go ahead and put a cut in the video here. So 
I guess we'll end up tackling these undead in the next video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.